Hi everyone, Next.js seems to be one of the best framework available out there. It has like all the features of Vue.js uh, and uh, it is also so much uh, nice with new features like server side rendering and all the other st cool stuff that comes with Next.js. So in this video series, uh, we'll be learning how we can get started with Next.js and we'll be learning different features which we can use with our Next.js application. So without delay, let's get started. So in order to create and build a Next.js application, uh, we need to have Node.js installed on our system and you can go to nodejs.org website and you can download latest LTS version at the moment it is 18.17 when you are watching this video it might be something else so don't worry just download a LTS version with whatever the version number it's mentioned doesn't matter and after that in order to follow some later part of the series we need to have git installed so it's always better to download the git and install if you don't have it but if you have it then it's fine you can use it so after that we can go to this nuxjs.com website and in this website we'll be finding documentation related to all the nuxjs features and uh, things which is available for us so if i just click on docs we'll be able to see all the information related to it but i would like to just show you getting started part of this documentation teaches about all the nuxjs theoretical features and if you click on installation it will just let you know like how you can install it it's very easy command just type npx nuxi at latest init and whatever the project name which you want you can give so i'll be teaching you don't worry about it so next thing is in order to even get more details you can click on guide and in this guide you will be able to see all the different things related to nuxjs which we'll be learning so don't worry about it i'm just telling you to see this so that you will be able to refer on your own if you need to implement some new features so without delay let me just go to getting started and installation and keep this page open so we will be able to refer it whenever we need to do something first i would like to go to my files uh, explorer and here uh, i have created next folder in my learning folder so you can also create one folder in yours and once you create uh, a folder then you can right click on it and uh, click on open in terminal so in order to just make sure you have node.js installed just type node dash dash version and if you enter it immediately it will show node.js version if you can't see this or if you are not able to run this particular command that means node.js is not properly installed let me just open up the documentation again to see the command which we will be running that would be here npx nuxc at latest in it and project name you can give whatever the project name you want i'll just give something like my hello world so that uh, this is our hello world project and we'll be learning in this particular project only pretty much so it will take while uh, you just have to click yes uh, so that it will install whatever it is required so now the next js project is created uh, and uh, if i just do ls uh, here we can see hello world project and also i forgot to mention you need to download vs code also if you don't have it so i'll be using this editor and if you want to use some other editor it's fine but uh, i would recommend highly to use this vs code editor editor just go to code.visualstudio.com and download it you might probably have it so once you are done with it you can see one project file is created here and so now let me just open vs code if you don't have it just go ahead and install it after that i'll just drag this folder here once it's done we'll be able to see this page and i'll just click on trust yes i trust author so this is our next js project directory so this is a node.js project so obviously we need to do npm installer so let me just go to terminal new terminal and here i can write any kind of npm related command so let me just increase the screen little bit so that you can see the commands properly i'll just type npm install and it will take some time for it to finish loading and uh, install the all the required dependency that time we'll just look into the, the folder structure here next.js comes with very simple folder structure it just includes public folder which doesn't have anything then after that there is server directory which will be able to use uh, some server related functions and all and there is nothing pretty much uh, there is one packet.json uh, which will be important for uh, node.js project uh, then after that uh, there will be app.view which will be very simple and we'll be removing it in a while uh. so let me wait until this particular installation get done uh. 
So once installation is done, it will create one new folder named node module. So we don't have to touch it at all. Then there will be something like a package lock.json, which also will not be touching at all. So then it will ask something related to like collecting information. I'll just click on no. And once that's done, the Next.js folder is created here. That is dot Next.js folder, which is like our compiled version of it. So that's why we don't have to worry about this folder also. So at the moment, I'll just run this particular project and running this project is it's very easy npm run dev so once i do it it will create a development server and run it so i'll just click on allow access so once that's done our next year's project is running and we can view it by going to localhost 3000 and here we can see the next year's project is created and uh, it will show one welcome page so we can see this welcome page coming from app.viewer so let me just remove pretty much everything here and uh, save it so that uh, it will give some error saying uh, app.view doesn't exist here we can just type a template and uh, inside template we can just type a h1 and i'll just type a hello world and save it the moment i do that and come here it will directly show me hello world that means we are successfully able to execute this app.vue.js file and we'll be able to see the output related to it that's about it for this particular video guys we just created one next.js project and we are able to see that app.vue.js execute this particular thing so in next video we'll be learning how we can create more folders and components and all so see you in the next video bye bye